Hi, my name is Mark Ashman. I'm a real estate broker with Coldwell Banker Bain and a father of two daughters at Ballard High School. If you're watching this, you're probably already familiar with what an amazing, incredible, and essential organization Ballard Performing Arts is. Now, more than ever, it is imperative that we support the arts in our schools. Knowing that Ballard Performing Arts relies entirely on our donations, any amount you can give will help. Which is why I'm so excited to tell you about my community partnership with Ballard Performing Arts. What this means essentially is, if you or anyone you know buys or sells a house with me and mentions this community partnership, then at the conclusion of the transaction, my firm and I will donate 10% right off the top of the firm's commission. It's a fantastic opportunity to give more than we might be able to individually. In the meantime, please join me in supporting the programs at Ballard Performing Arts by donating to the Giving Campaign now. Thank you. Cherry Creek has been in the window and door business for over 40 years. We take a lot of pride in the quality of the materials we use and the products we sell. We've got a lot of good people paying attention to the details. From retrofitting your classic homes, windows and doors to building a new, modern dwelling, Cherry Creek is your local expert for Marvin products. Our team is knowledgeable and committed to helping you with any aspect of your project. From planning, to designing, and installing, we value our work in this community. We offer a big range of products and services. So whether you're a contractor, architect, or a homeowner, it be our pleasure to get you doors and windows that you need. Tonight we are celebrating the accomplishments of all of the students in the Ballard High School Orchestra program, given the unprecedented situation that was the 2020-21 school year. Three separate cohorts worked together collaboratively all year long. Cohorts A and B were given very few rehearsals and in-person class periods to work on the music that they learned. Before being able to come together, we worked for months and months learning and maintaining our musicianship online separately at home. The footage and recordings you're hearing tonight were collected during a real class time rehearsal. You'll hear me talking and instructing in the background. You'll see me playing along, you'll see me conducting. As such, this film honors us as real humans. We are in learning and rehearsing mode. We are celebrating the act of making music together, imperfections and all. Enjoy. Welcome to the 2021 Spring Orchestra Concert at Ballard High School. This has been one of the craziest, wildest years to be a music teacher and a music student. Nothing is normal. Nothing is anything remotely close to what we would normally do if we could get on the stage at Ballard High School and have a concert. But this year has been full of lots and lots of music learning. 
This year has been full of lots and lots of thinking about music education and ways that we can move together toward a more culturally responsive and welcoming music education environment at Ballard High School. This year has been full of learning all kinds of different angles to approach music making and learning from many, many different composers who are underrepresented, composers of color, women composers, folk music from all over the world. This year's spring concert will feature the entire orchestra program performing alongside members of the SPU Orchestra, the Cleveland High School Orchestra, the Franklin Orchestra, and the Rainier Beach Orchestra in their performance for the Wintergrass Festival's Wintergrass Youth Orchestra 2021. We will also be featuring what I am calling our life and music learning in this unprecedented time, a mini documentary looking into the unconventional ways that we've approached teaching music in a hybrid setting, um, teaching online music, and getting through the weirdest year on record. We'll also be celebrating the seniors who have been a part of our program for many years and have given their time, energy, and music to us as they prepare for the next chapter in their lives. And we will also be honoring certain individuals who have made themselves worthy of one of our annual awards. Welcome, sit back and enjoy, and thank you for attending. Please welcome to the stage the Ballard High School Concert Orchestra. This orchestra is made up of mostly students who are in ninth grade, but serves students in all four grades. The students in the concert orchestra will be performing snippets of a piece called Postcards from Russia by Harry Lane Purcell. <laughs> Postcards from Russia features folk tunes that one would encounter traveling in Russia. This is by a woman composer, Carrie Lane Roussel, and it features all kinds of different techniques for a growing and learning orchestra um, to experience on their string instruments, including utilizing a characteristic bouncing bow, um, some very adventurous dynamics, some upper positions for violins, and some very adventurous tempo changes.
please welcome the Ballard High School Symphonic Orchestra. The Ballard High School Symphonic Orchestra serves students in 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. You will be hearing snippets of a piece by Katherine Greisinger called A Streak of Light. students as pirate task. This piece features a difficult to envision two against three rhythm in six eight time. Uh, the students have been amazing at accomplishing this groove and it is really truly like being on a pirate ship or I would like to think of it as being on a starship up in space and floating around and encountering all kinds of adventures in the world of the unknown. Please welcome the Chamber Orchestra Cohort A. 
Chamber Orchestra Cohort A ended up being a very large cross-section of the entire Chamber Orchestra. They meet on Mondays, and because they are such a large group, they get to operate as a Chamber Orchestra when we rehearse. You will be hearing snippets of Dance Negre from African Suite Op. 35 by Samuel Coleridge-Taylor.
This cohort ended up being a quartet of perfection, and they chose as the piece that they'd like to feature the Florence Price Quartet in G, Movement 2. Thank you. 
I'm a violin and I'm planning to attend UW after I graduate and I'm going into accounting. My favorite memory of Miss Fortune would definitely be when I first met her when I first transferred to Boward my sophomore year. Um, my favorite experiences in the Boward Symphonic Orchestra is when we went to Canada and we had a competition there and we also went to a really fun amusement park afterwards as well. And I enjoy playing the violin because I like to hear how I sound when I'm playing with my entire class and um, with all classmates. Um, I'm Bronson Scott and I play the cello. I'm going to Cal Poly to study biomedical engineering. Favorite memories of Miss Fortune definitely be um, school concerts were super fun and just getting to listen to the whole ensemble even after like working on a piece for like a month or so, just getting prepared for concerts and just really seeing the improvement of the, of the whole group was pretty cool. My name's Stella, I play bass um, and I've been in the orchestra for all four years of high school. My plans for next year are I'm going to McAllister College in St. Paul, Minnesota, and I'm planning on majoring in math um, but I, I want to play some music because music has always been a super integral part of my life. Um, some of my favorite memories of Miss Fortune. She always just brings so much energy and enthusiasm to orchestra. Last year when we went to Canada with Symphonic Orchestra, time with friends and being able to play music in a new place and yeah, I'm so grateful for the Ballard High School music experience. Um, hi, my name is Henry Ramstad. Uh, I'm a senior at Ballard High School and I play the bass. I plan to attend Cornell University and I'm going to be a science major and I'm hoping to stay to stay in music. I think my favorite memories definitely from orchestra have been some of the trips and also just the experience of, of being in the uh, symphonic orchestra as opposed to the chamber. 
finally and favorite experience at least from Ballard has definitely just been um, some of the concerts we get to play and some of the traveling we get to do. Um, I think one of my favorite memories of Her Misfortune was the first year when she came in. She kind of brought this whole new energy to um, the school and I think I remember our second piece we ever learned with her was a, um, a Led Zeppelin song for the spaghetti dinner and that was a super fun event to do and we got to play with a rock band and that was a, a total experience I had never have expected. And then with Miss Newell, back when I was a freshman, it was um, drilling lots of um, super fast stuff, lots of super old stuff, and it was really great to kind of play the greats. A totally amazing experience with, with both of them, and I have loved orchestra for all four years of that. I'm Hadley, um, and I'm a senior, uh, and I play the violin, um, and I've been in orchestra all four years. So my favorite experiences have been definitely getting to go on trips and have fun times with the rest of the orchestra. I think my favorite thing was my freshman year uh, when we went to New York. That was like kind of a defining moment for me in terms of orchestra. When, I, when me and a friend needed advice on something that was going on in our lives and we went to her for advice. Um, and she just like helped us through what we needed in a very non-judgmental way. And I think that's kind of just like, that's how I think of her is just being really kind and helpful and willing to help her students. So after high school, I'm planning on going to Knox College in Illinois. Um, I'm gonna major in theater and I'm gonna minor in tech and design. And I'm definitely gonna keep playing violin even though I'm not majoring in music. Um, I'm going to be in the orchestra there. My first theater experience was being in the Pitt Orchestra my freshman year. And that was, um, that was kind of like the gateway to the rest of the things I did in high school. So I owe a lot to orchestra. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Sophia Court. I'm a senior here. I play the viola in chamber orchestra. And after high school, I'm planning to go to Loyola University of Chicago and I'm studying there. I think some of my favorite memories of Miss Fortune um, have actually been during COVID. She's made the classes really fun online and we've been able to do a lot of different types of things than we did in the regular school years. So I really enjoyed that. And, and then my favorite experiences in orchestra have been going to Camp Burton, which we do every year. And I really just enjoy uh, the switch to viola and being able to play different types of parts in the lower register, I think is really beautiful. Uh, hi, I'm Kevin Mao. Uh, I play the violin. Um, I'd say my favorite memory from orchestra is getting to go to all like our trips that we do. Like we went to New York our freshman year and that was super fun. We got to see like the New York Philharmonic. I've really enjoyed also like extracurricular activities like Pitt Orchestra has been super fun. I only did that my freshman year. It was really nice to like get to collaborate with choir students and theater students and see how like all of that interconnects and get to work with all of the teachers. And it's also been super fun to do fiddle club, which I've done for a while and getting to improvise and kind of be a little less restricted by the notes on the page. After, after I graduate, I'm planning on going to UC San Diego. Hi, I'm Kate Sauter and I play the cello and I'm gonna study molecular biology. But I don't know, it's kind of bittersweet to leave because while I'm going to do something that I really want to do, I'm leaving behind like music, which has been part of my life for like nine years. You meet so many new people every year and you reconnect after the summer and you really become just like a family during that because while you are playing music and like working, it's mostly just getting to know each other and enjoying the like early fall sun. And
Congratulations, Hadley, on your fabulous music career at Ballard High School. I can't wait to see what you do in the future with your talents and skills. Hey, Had, um, thanks for bringing me along for so much of the adventure. Um, what a great four years of music at Ballard and three years of music before that at Hamilton. Um, Miss Newell and Miss Fortune um, were just great mentors during your four years at Ballard, and um, we thank them and we're excited to see all that comes next. Love you. Congratulations, Stella. We're so proud of you. Girls rock the base. Hi, Hi Evan. Evan. We have so enjoyed watching you play the violin over the years. We have great memories of many musical adventures playing with great friends along the way. And we know you have a fun future ahead. Congratulations, Congratulations and, and we, we love, love you. you. Congratulations, Kate. Orchestra is one of my favorite things that you did as a, as a kid. Congratulations, Kate. We're so proud of you. And watching you play the bass is one of my very favorite things. Love you.
never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Can I see another's woe and not be in sorrow too? Can I see another's grief and not seek for kind relief? Can I see a falling tear and not feel my sorrow shame? Can a father see his child weep nor be with sorrow fear? Can a mother sit and hear an infant groan, an infant fear? Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. And can he who smiles on all hear the wren of sorrow small? Hear the songbirds' grief and care, hear the woes that infants bear. Not sit beside the nest, pouring pity in their breast. And not sit the cradle near, weeping tear on infant's teeth. And not sit both night and day, wiping all our tears away. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Think not thou can sigh a sigh and thy maker is not by. Think not thou can sweep a tear and thy maker is not me. Oh, he gives to us his joy that our grief he may destroy. Till our grief is fled and gone, he doth sit by us and more. Never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. Oh no, never can it be, never, never can it be. This year's BHS Orchestra Conductors Award goes to a senior who has dedicated her time and energy and creativity to so many aspects of our performing arts program. She is an amazing violinist. She is an outstanding fiddler. She is a wonderful actor. She is a person who exudes creativity joy, and love of music. Let's congratulate Hadley Mullman as this year's VHS Conductor's Award recipient. The 2020-2021 Ballard High School Orchestra Dedication Award goes to a senior who has been dedicated not only to being a participant in our music program for four years, but has also never waned in enthusiasm, um, idea generation, creativity, and willingness to have fun in front of others. This year's dedication award goes to Kate Sauter. The National Orchestra Award for the 2020-2021 school year 
goes to an outstanding senior whose dedication, leadership, artistic creativity, and just love for music and for people shines through at every turn. This student has participated for four years in the orchestra program, has participated in the fiddlers program, has risen to the challenge of leadership roles within the orchestra over his period of time serving. This person is empathetic. This person knows what to say and when to say it. This person is, well, this person is music. This award goes to Evan Mount. Congratulations, Evan. The Make Music Anyway Award is a new award for Ballard High School that is in commemoration of the hardest school year known to history. This group of students formed a string quartet in September of 2020 and decided that they were going to take their music learning and music performance seriously throughout the entire year. This string quartet decided that they would get together on a weekly basis in the driveway on the other side of this fence um, every weekend throughout the school year, including the winter months, January, February. These students rehearsed regularly, found opportunities to make music in public, um, including a holiday performance in a public park, making many people very, very happy in December, and numerous performances at the Serious Takeout restaurant down the street. This group of students um, has been entrepreneurial. This group of students has simply been dedicated to making music anyway throughout this entire school year and has been a constant source of inspiration for me when I open up my back door and get to listen to them rehearsing every week. This award, this new award for this school year goes to the five and a half cats and that includes Monse Eckert Mariscal. Lena McRoberts, Colin Dunlap, and Carson Stephens. As a way to close our event tonight, I would like to extend some big, huge gratitude to the entire orchestra community, students and families. Teachers were placed in the emergency role of needing to reinvent the wheel on how to teach in the situation we found ourselves in, a 100-year pan pandemic. And we invented curriculum as we were going. We were building the plane as we flew it. And we knew we needed to serve kids. We just had to invent it as we went. And I want to thank all of the music students and orchestra students at Ballard High School for agreeing to go along with it. There's nothing conventional about what we did this year. We rehearsed on Microsoft Teams. We made individual recordings that were put into virtual orchestras. We learned about all kinds of things, some of them not really even having to do specifically with orchestra, but with music and with making our world better. All of the students were game, all of the students were receptive, and I know that the students are learning and they are appreciative. So my deep heartfelt thanks goes out to each and every person that plays a role in our music community for 
the support for allowing me to create what we did this year and make mistakes along the way and for coming together to joyfully make music anyway. We can hope that we will not have another pandemic right around the corner, but if we do, we know that we will survive. Thank you for coming and enjoy your summer.